welcome back to my channel. I haven't seen you guys in such a long time. I had to take some time off because I had fallen, hit my head, got a concussion, and I had to take a break from just social life and um, gym life and all that. My last video was a gym self-motivation video, and I had mentioned in that video that I like to do four-week challenges for myself. So after I started going back to the gym after my concussion, I decided to do a four-week challenge because I didn't work out for almost two weeks, and I just feel like I needed a little challenge to like motivate me. So I filmed what I eat for dinner for five days, like Monday through Friday. Um, weekends, I kind of, I don't cook, we eat out, but I'm thinking about doing a video of what I eat when we go out, like when we go to restaurants or fa fast food places, because, um, I still try to make it healthy-ish, um, and, um, so yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see that video. I just want you guys to know that right now I am currently in like a body building stage. So my challenge is to build muscle in this four weeks and also shed some fat. My meals are really big, um, but they're really low fat. So this is for someone who is trying to gain weight or gain muscle like me. So I'm keeping my fat macros really low like under 50 grams and then my carbs i'm keeping them really high like 300 well so maybe later on i'll share that with you guys i'll do a what i eat in a day but right now i'm still kind of like figuring out what i need to eat because i'm still kind of too low on my calories for the day so i'm trying to increase my calories but the thing is i don't get hungry and i get really really full so i don't eat enough but i'm trying to figure out something where it gives me more calories and i don't have to eat as much so stay tuned for a what I eat in a day video. So for Monday's dinner, I'm going to have a chicken bacon salad that consists of romaine lettuce, spinach, cilantro, chopped onion, chopped tomato. I bought a bag of pulled rotisserie chicken from Walmart that I'm just going to heat up in the microwave. For my dressing, I'm actually going to just squeeze a lime and a lemon, mix in a little bit of olive oil and some spices, and it's going to be delicious. And I also got bacon bits that I'm just going to sprinkle in there. And of course, some avocados because avocados just make life better. So this is Monday's dinner. So this is my salad that I prepared. There's avocado, tomato, onion, cilantro, lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil, some spices for flavor. I got my chicken and then I added quinoa to the side. So I'm just gonna mix it all together. I need to consume more carbs, so that's why I added the quinoa. If you want less carbs, don't add the quinoa. And that's dinner. So today is Taco Tuesday. <laughs> So I ordered three chicken tacos. They're kind of small and they have double tortilla, but that's fine because I need my carbs. And um, this chicken is like not greasy. This is good, low fat, okay? And we're gonna add a little salsa to it. So today is Ash Wednesday. So I made a tuna salad since we can't eat meat today. In my salad, in my Tuna salad, I have canned corn. I also chopped up some romaine lettuce, some spinach. I put sliced jalapeno in there as well as the juice, a tiny bit of mayo, an entire avocado. Um, uh, let's see, what else did I put in there? And a green pepper. That's all in here, like a green bell pepper. And then I also made um, protein penny pasta um, this so I need a lot of carbs to gain muscle so this has 38 grams of carbs it only has one gram of fat and 10 grams of protein this is a plant-based protein pasta so I made that on the side so that um, we can each add our own carbs because babe eats less carbs I eat more carbs and like that so this is Wednesday's dinner, and it's also delicious. And we're eating another salad. This is a Caesar salad that I just add cucumber, avocado, spinach, 
chicken and pasta too. I just love eating salads because I feel like it's fresh produce, non-processed foods, and it's just delicious and easy and healthy. Okay, so I got my Caesar salad here and I added my cucumbers, you can see, and some avocado as well as spinach. And I want to have a little disclaimer here because, of course, Caesar salad comes with Caesar dressing and this is loaded with fat. Add as much as you like. I added most of the package, not all of the package. Um, but also, if you are keeping track of your macros, um, then you will know how much you can have. So I've had a pretty lean breakfast and lunch. I've only really had um, fat from my avocado in the morning and, and the creamer and my coffee. So since I know that I didn't have very many grams of fat, I can add more dressing to it and I'm still gonna fit in through to my macros. I'm also gonna be adding chicken and my protein pasta to my salad. This is gonna give me carbs and protein and this is protein and then this salad here is carbs and fat. When you're gonna make a salad like a salad like this and you're keeping track of macros, I suggest you don't add that to the salad and then toss it. Just keep it to the side so you can portion it off and then that way you can keep track of how much pasta and how many macros you are adding to your salad. I hope that makes sense and that also works for like other family members like because like I've mentioned before, um, I eat more carbs than protein and Babe eats more protein than carbs so I add less pasta to his plate I add more pasta to my plate and like that it's fish Friday so for dinner we're having carbs carbs protein and fat beans guacamole tilapia and corn on the cob so that's what I eat for dinner I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram at Gabdel2. I usually post there every single day. So if you don't see me here on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.